Good afternoon, this is in Shaman Oracle reading for this new week and today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer and this reading here is for Gemini. Welcome Gemini, I'm using the Moon and Stars Tarot, two cards from the deck and card number one is Six of Swords and the keywords are baggage, recovery and release and the meaning is movement you may physically relocate or you may go traveling but the chance of scenery cannot resolve mental anguish you need to release any past fears and hardships so leave trauma and arguments behind as now is the time to find peace. In a relationship, this card can symbolize time away from a partner or healing following a breakup. Within work, there may be exciting opportunities with travel overseas. The star message is make a positive move and do it for the right reason. And the second card from the Moon and Stars Tarot is the Queen of Pentacles. And the keywords they are logical thinking, love and compassion. And the meaning of the card is stability. This queen represents a female influence in a reading or someone with divine feminine power. The queen is stable and financially secure with success in abundance. Being humble and modest, she nurtures all the aspects of life, showing the need to be grounded and to connect with Mother Earth. She passes down wisdom as she provides all that she can for her family. So keep a calm and clear head when entering any situation and stay in control of your emotions and think logically. The moon message here is take pride in all that you do and do it with reason and with love and know that you are supported. Now we come to the crystal wisdom healing oracle and out for you came the stone aquamarine and the aquamarine is about hope and it has a healing vibration aquamarine has long been a healing gem associated with the sea and also with stimulating psychic abilities it was believed to protect against seduction there is a self-understanding to the to this stone. You are deeply intuitive, but you need to assess this realistically. Do not be seduced by vivid imagine, imaginings, wishful thinkings, or spiritual claptrap. Use your imagination to create what is for your highest good and well-being follows if you fall into depression remember that hope shines even into the darkest places there is a divination to the stone release self-defeating programs listen to your inner guidance but be objective accept what is an offer watch out for idle gossip tie up loose ends before moving on remain emotionally detached avoid procrastination and success may come in a court case so stay positive and remember your family there is an healing insight there is no reason to lose the hope in your heart since well-being is a state of mind the frequency of this stone is high, 
the chakras it relates to are throat chakra third eye and it aligns all the chakras very well the timing of the stone falls in the energies of aries gemini scorpio and pisces and the sole path of the stone is seeing beyond consensual reality or illusion and now comes the fairy oracle card and out came lost and found what was was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy sometimes she can help us find things we never even we never even realized that they were lost the lost and found fairy she collects lost treasures and she keeps them for a rainy day revealing them when they are needed most she is attracted to shiny things and often keeps company with magpies and crows for they too have a keen eye for things that sparkle if you see these birds this fairy is probably nearby if you have been misplacing something either materially or spiritually call on this helpful fairy to find it she will often leave little hints tips and clues she may remind you to be practical for example if you have lost your keys retrace your last steps in your mind where were you when you last saw them this fairy often appears in autumn and winter time in autumn animals often bury food ready to sustain themselves during the colder months and seeing them do this could be a sign to stash away the things that will sustain you as well these could be material things such as food and money so remember she is a very practical fairy or you might stash away cherished memories inside your heart and tap into them whenever you need a spiritual boost the lost and found fairy also reminds us that it is okay to lose things perhaps you never really needed them anyway or their time and purpose has been served it's no use crying over spilled milk could also be the message she brings so let it go get a cloth and clean it up then go and get some more milk ideally vegan nut milk if you really need it so the fairies always have humor don't they and now we come to the lovely animal oracle card and out came blue jay and the blue jay is about confidence wisdom and potential the general message here is the blue jay tells you to be confident that you have the wisdom you need to reach your great potential what you desire depends on you and no one else you alone are capable of achieving what you need to live a great and amazing life the strength of the blue chick card is self-knowledge is trump if you know you have a strong personality you can hold yourself back in difficult situations the opportunities of the card they are to be a source of knowledge for all to be wise and respected there is some weakness to the card exploit others to one's own advantage should be avoided and there might be your aggressiveness 
which can lead to events that are not pleasant for you and also not for others. So, that was your reading, Gemini. Thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful day today. I wish you a great week ahead. Take care and goodbye.